they go big lead for Kyle Busch after a great restart. Kale Gale jump out of line trying to get by some trucks. There goes Ty Dillon for that third spot. He said that's where he had to finish in order to win this championship. He's doing his part. Where's Busher? He's back in that pack. Going after it is Ty Dillon. Four laps to go from Homestead, Miami. The difference in points, two. Busher has a two-point lead over Ty Dillon. Dillon trying to take second away now. Remember, Dillon put four tires on the last pit stop. Johnny Sauter only two. As they run, Busher, two points in front of Ty Dillon. If Dillon takes that spot away from Johnny Sauter, it'll be one point separating the two. Is he going to be able to get that truck turned when he gets oh, to the he, wall? And he does. He does. He willed that truck off the wall, driving his tail off trying to win this championship. Three to go. One point separate our top two in the championship. Here comes Kyle Larson on the bottom of the racetrack. Ty Dillon can't afford to give up any positions. Kyle Larson is going to fall in right behind him. And James Busher can't get passed by Timothy Peters right now. James Busher trying to hang on to the spot he's in, but Timothy Peters behind him. Oh, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson spins sideways. He gets into the three, the three into the wall. Caution comes out with three to go. Ryan Blaney hard after contact with Kyle Larson. Where's James Busher? James Busher trying to, there he is on the inside of the racetrack going by the 11 of Ty Bodine. There's your championship leader. Ty Dillon was on the outside. Kyle Larson trying to make the pass. The back end comes around. Look at the damage to that truck. Going to be a red flag. We're going to stop the trucks on the backstretch, give them time to clean it up. But what a, what a heartbreaker for that three truck of Ty Dillon. Two weeks in a row, he gets caught up in a mess not of his making. And at Martinsville, too, it's just been a terrible end of the season for this, this young man. And you can see Ryan Blaney hard into that outside wall. I'm glad Ryan's out of the truck, but you can tell he's shaken up. We've watched, we watched Kyle Larson be very aggressive all race long, sideways, making passes. And in that, he, got, he put himself in a position that he never should have gotten into. He dove down on the bottom of the track and didn't have control of his truck. You know, you got to know that you can't, you got to know that you got, you're going to have the ability to stay off of the guy in front of you, and he didn't have the ability to do that. He drove off the track trying not to hit Ty Dillon, but he just simply didn't have the room not to, uh, not to make contact with Ty. We've seen this before. As a matter of fact, we saw it last week. The three teams going to try to come onto pit road. They'll stop. They won't be able to work on it as soon as the red flag comes out. It's going to come out. They've stopped the trucks on the back stretch. The three is going to try to do whatever they can before that red flag comes out. But on pit road, they won't be able to touch the truck. Yeah, Rick, it's over. It's over no matter what happens, unfortunately for Ty Dillon. But what a great rookie season, trying to become the first rookie ever in NASCAR to win the championship. Not only, just what a great night it was for that young man. He fought himself in a position to win this championship late in the going. As this accident happened, he was within one point as they ran of James Busher. The guys remaining, the 31, James Busher. Behind him, Timothy Peters. Another look at what happened. Kyle Larson just dives hard into the corner. Ty Dillon made the corner as if Larson wasn't on the inside of him. And uh, like, like I said, you can say Ty Dillon came down or you can say that, that Larson got in too deep. It certainly was just a situation where Kyle Larson needed to, to, to be able to stay off of Ty Dillon if that's what Ty was going to do. You can see it's just a dive bomb move. A move that he's probably made, you talked about he's run 160 races this year, he's probably made that move a, a hundred times, uh, and, and that time it didn't work. We've seen him make it that tonight, we've seen that slide job tonight, unfortunately Ty was going to the bottom of the racetrack as well. Kyle, Ty had moved up to the second position, had moved within one point as we watch hard contact by Ryan Blaney, with one, within one point of our championship leader, James Bush. Right along with him. Look at Ryan Blaney, just clipped by Kyle Larson, and he went head on into the outside wall. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle Larson committed to the bottom of the racetrack. Ty Dillon was going down to the bottom. Kyle was going to drive it in there really, really hard, hoping that Ty would run the top of the racetrack and try to do a slide job. 
But uh, unfortunately, Ty was going to run the bottom as well. And as you mentioned, Kyle did all he could do to try to stay off of Ty, but he just couldn't control that truck down on the bottom. Got loose into Ty. Drove in, you know, really hard, and, and there wasn't a hole there, and that, that was contact into the side of Ty Dillon. Watch how hard he drives on the corner. You saw he hit. Johnny Sauter, the 13 truck, was right on his rear tailgate, and he opened up about three truck links as he drove in the corner. That's such a shame, too, because we, we were having such a, a great end to this race and, and really enjoying watching Kyle Larson drive his truck, and, and uh, all James Busher has to do is make it through this mess, and the championship is his, and you can see he's tiptoeing through there. He's got his truck under control. A lot of debris out there on the racetrack, though. Needs to make sure and check, and... Feel the tires out extremely well. Make sure he doesn't have a flat tire. A week ago, we're in Phoenix. Blows the right front tire, and in the wall he goes.